Hello to everyone and welcome to my Windows 10 desktop customization. We're gonna start with restore point. In the start menu type restore and choose create a restore point. Now here select local disk C system and click on create and give it a name. Click on create one more time. Okay it's done. The restore point is created. Click on close click OK here. Now we're gonna start with the most complicated step and that is a uh, icon pack here I have a custom icon pack that I have installed now if you want to have these icons you need to download this icon pack here is the download link no need for registration now for this app 70SP you need to make account on DeviantArt making account on DeviantArt is completely free it's gonna take you from 5 to 10 minutes to create account when you make account uh, you will see download link here's the download link for the 70sp now here's the icon pack and here is the app before you extract the files now here is the app i'm gonna extract the files from the 7zip archive okay now here you have a tutorial on how to install this app now here you have a tutorial quick tip and now before you rename this to the exe i'm gonna disable my antivirus Okay, now I'm gonna rename this to the exe. Otherwise, if my antivirus is working, it's gonna just remove this app. But believe me, it's not a virus. I never had a problem with 70SP. Now, we have a 70SP. You need to run this as administrator. Click on yes here. Now here, go to the add a custom pack and then select the custom pack that you have downloaded. You have many of colors to choose but I choose this lavender now here in the extra go to the options and just uncheck this click on save and now what you need to do you need to click on start patching and the patching will be done about two or three minutes and after the patching is done you need to restart your computer after restarting you should get the message the system has been patched and click OK and that's it you have a completely new custom icon pack on your windows now I'm gonna close this I can't uh, I can just right now to delete the icons and install them one more time uh, it's much complicated now we have done this step I'm gonna leave this folder here I'm gonna delete okay now the next step is a custom theme to install a custom theme on the Windows 10 or 11 you will need to download and install ultra UX theme patcher this is really important now for the best experience I suggest you to install start is back plus plus or start all back I'm gonna leave every download link in description now you have to download Ultra UX Team Patcher and here is the theme Joyful Desktop here is the download link one more time no need for registration okay once you download the Ultra UX Team Patcher and the custom team first you need to run Ultra UX Team Patcher you can run this as administrator and you don't need to turn off the antivirus for Ultra UX Team Patcher here go next click on I accept go next I agree and now you can see that my windows is patched status patched and here's the UX in it is patched also you will get these options like you need to patch and patch every one of them and then after you patch the uh, windows you need to restart your computer and you will be able to use a custom team Okay, I'm gonna click on cancel here. Now I'm gonna extract the files from the archive. So this is a custom team. I'm gonna copy this. Go to local disk C Windows and then go to the resources teams and paste it here. Now I already have these teams, so I'm just gonna replace them all. Now these are the names of the team. Now go to the personalize and go to the teams and now just select the teams that you just pasted. Now this team is under the name mechanical and I'm gonna choose this one. This is a dark version of the team and eye candy is a white version of the team. There you go. Now you have a custom team on the Windows 10 and it looks amazing. Now I'm gonna delete these because I don't need it anymore. 
Now the next step, I'm gonna download the wallpaper and here is the wallpaper, also it is from DeviantArt. And there you go, now it's much better. The wallpaper fits with the custom theme and the custom icon pack. The last step is to install X widget. Now here's the download link for X widget for Windows, download it and the installation is very easy and very simple and after you download the X widget and install it you can download this smart home for X widget this is uh, similar to the Raymater skin so I'm gonna download it just to show you double click on it and you will get it on the desktop now uh, the skin is uh, a little a little bit bigger than my desktop resolution this is uh, recommended for for bigger screen monitors now I don't have uh, so much big uh, screen monitors so what I'm going to do I'm just going to the right click window and I'm going to the zoom and I'm gonna set to the 17% okay or maybe 60 now with this step we are done with uh, Windows 10 customization desktop now there is a few little tweaks that I'm going to do uh, for example I'm going to the personalize going to the teams mouse cursor and I'm gonna select one of these cursors so now what else you can do to customize a little bit more your Windows desktop you can go to the start menu right click and go to the properties and here you can select a start menu design from the team that you just applied and it's gonna look like this or you can just select one of these start menu styles I'm using this one a lot of the time and now I'm gonna select the start menu button okay now if you want to customize this skin you can go to the right click and you can go to the edit now you can play around with this edit options here for this skin now if you want to change a uh, location of your city go here and then go to the settings and here input a city name and click OK and that's it for this customization of Windows 10 desktop hope you're gonna like it see you next time bye Now, if you are wondering how to restore the custom icon pack to the default Windows icons, simply open the 7TSP application one more time as administrator. And here you have an option Restore. Click on that and choose the first option Restore modified system files to before 7TSP was used. Click OK and the app will be restored the custom icon pack to Windows default icons and you need to restart your computer and that's it after that if you don't planning to use 7TSP uh, you can delete the app and that's it